KCLR Sport. The Carlo Senior Hurling Final Preview Special with Affidia, Ireland's leading provider of MRI scans at Dean Street, Kilkenny. Affidia.ie. Nothing is more important than health. Party here, same one in Senior Hurler Party. We're on the verge of County Final there now, and I suppose you're starting to get a little bit excited. Aye, yeah, the build up to the match is always, it's always great. There's great excitement around the place. Um, everyone, the kids, um, everyone in the parish is all to talk about. So it's be great excitement around the place at Fairness. It's always a great week leading up to the final. It's crazy to think that's 12 months since I was down here with you, you know, and you're successful that day. Same two teams in the final this year, party, and uh, no love lost there, I suppose. No, sure. Look, we're after meeting a good few times. Um, same as any clubs in Carlo. You play each club, plays each other um, every year. There's no club you don't play in the Carlo Championship, so everyone knows each other well and you know what to expect going out. And Sunday, we know what Rangers are all about and they know exactly what we're all about, so we know different from the Championship, I suppose. Looking at the Championship as a whole this year, you know, I think early on in the season you met and they won by a good few points on the night, but um, looking at, I suppose, aside to that, the Rangers were quite comfortable in the group stages. They had two tough battles, of course, against Bindestown in the semi finals there. He got through the, the Nave 1 task with, with 10 points to spare, I think it was, in the end. Um, you know, talk us through maybe the run of the championship and how you feel it went from, from, from here to, to now. Yeah, like you were saying, like Rangers, they're unbeaten this year. Um, like they bet us comfortably enough in the first round of the championship. Um, they're a serious outfit. Um, even the semi-final bangs down through absolutely everything that and they still came out with a victory down to 14 men like, it takes a good team to do that go through the whole championship unbeaten and that's what they're, they're aiming now Sunday to go through to finish off the championship unbeaten and like ourselves we, we performances sometimes weren't great but we were still able to get the result and it was hoped that it all depend on the day on Sunday whichever team turns up will make take their chances and that'll be a big part of the battle um, in fairness there's not too much between any of the teams the semi-final against Michel now we had a good bit of luck too Michel had one or two chances that just barely barely grazed the post and if they had to go in it would be a completely different story so you, take, you make your luck and you take your luck as well and thankfully in the semi-final we got it and all we can do is look forward now Yeah I think just after half time they won't come back at you um, I think it was Adam Kenny maybe got the goal and there was a, a chance a couple of minutes later um, Gary Bennett got back with a bit of a hook I think uh, you know in, in other years there are kind of scores that you may have been conceding and I suppose it's, it's a sign of how far you've come that you're kind of had to see out that sort of a period whereas maybe in other years you might have kind of caved in a little bit Yeah well it's all on today as well like a bit of luck um, another shot like another day might have just crept in inside the post or um, just a little deflection somewhere and it goes in so just in the semi-final we had to look and Michel I suppose were without the bit of luck that they needed for them to go in and as you're saying that would have changed the game completely we wouldn't, the result could have been completely different if one or two of them had to go go in or go off a post and go in or off a hurling in so it's all about a bit of luck on the day and thankfully in the semi-final we had that small bit I suppose Looking back on it, I think uh, 10 years ago you were probably 16 years of age and that's where this rivalry kind of kind of started and it's, it's been kind of Rangers and St. Mullins for many of the finals in the past decade. I'm looking at lads behind you here now, the likes of David Dylan, you know, Eugene MacDonald and who's selector now and they're the guys you probably looked up to and now all of a sudden you're kind of the main man. It's mad the way a few years kind of pass. Yeah, it's just really fly by now but um, when we were 15, 16, it was David Dyle, Tom Dyle, Declan Cavanaugh, Michal Ryan, Mackie, all of them were the lads we looked up to and I suppose a few of us were lucky enough now we got to hurl for a few years with them um, and it really kind of really stood to us when you're out there playing with them lads they're the lads you want to be hurling beside so look things move on in the club um, they change players move on and other t- players are coming through and that's what you need keep everyone on their toes and keep pushing um, everyone on the team and they t- the club wouldn't be where it is without people coming through every year so it's an important part of any club. In terms of yourself, you know, you're a prolific uh, underage scoring talent and now all of a sudden you're playing centre-back. Uh, how have you found that transition? Are you, are you enjoying it back there or, you know, are you just kind of happy to be on the team regardless of where you are? Yeah, well, you'll, any team you, you're playing with coming up along, all you want to do is be on the pitch. Um, you don't want to be on the sidelines looking in. But even underage, I played in the backs um, a lot of the years as well. Um, it was only towards 
when I was 17, 18, 19 was when I played in the forwards year after year. But before that, I was kind of in the backs as well. So that's how I kind of end up back there again. That I had a bit of experience back there. So I'd look as enjoying hurling and all you want to do is be on the team and um, join with playing with the players we have. And in fairness, there's a great bunch there at the minute. So it's easy to enjoy it. Yeah, and, and three guys that's really on top of their game. You know, Seamus Murphy, five points from play the last day. James Dyle, her and Ovi Skin, and the mouse now as well. So you've plenty of firepower up the other end too. Yeah, look, them boys are, them boys are well at the hurl. They, they're doing that since they were underage. Um, in fairness, they're big, strong, big, strong lads. They're able to win their own ball, and um, they're after getting us over a lot of holes now, in fairness to them. So hopefully, Sunday now they can stay hurling like they are. And, that's what you look at. You look up the lads like that to be able to pull a game through and pull you through a score when you badly need it. Or the same as they look back to us if getting a hook or a block or winning a dirty ball when it's needed. So, you know, different. But in fairness, everyone has confidence in, confidence in them. And the way they're hurling all year, they've been hurling for the last few years, like, they have plenty of confidence in themselves as well. Uh, the last couple of years, Anthony McCormick was at the helm. Um, Anthony's moved on since. PJ Delaney's in this year. Must be one of the youngest managers of all time. I think he's 32 years of age. And, you know, he probably brings his own bit of uniqueness to the situation too. And uh, it's probably helped in keeping you fresh this year and, and I suppose, uh, maintaining that hunger that you need. Yeah, exactly. PJ came in this year. And um, in fairness to him, his passion and him, his drive, it's, it's unbelievable. It's typically Kenny to just win at all costs. And... Fairness is rubbing off, and he's Jimmy Dunn with him too. And the two boys, they work brilliantly together. In fairness, um, they have everything planned before they get down. Everything is laid out, and it's just it's easy for us to go train. And the boys are there. Just they set the standard. And in fairness, it's typically any standard is win at all costs and tough. Win your own ball hurling, and in fairness, you couldn't ask for any better. To be honest, so. And just on that too, the fact that PJ is so young, obviously he probably brings a more modern approach to it. And uh, not saying there's anything wrong with Anthony McCormick's approach, which got you two titles, but you know he's he's kind of still in the game. Probably could be still hurling if injuries, uh, you know, hadn't gone against him or whatever. And um, it's probably good to have that too to keep things kind of fresh. Yeah, in fairness, Anthony, Anthony done savage work with us. We got two um, county finals um, when Anthony was over, and in fairness, he he brought us on another step, and then we brought. PJ came in this year and just like you're saying freshen things up and he's his own approach and in fairness he probably should be still be hurling like you're saying just injuries go against you and that's the thing injuries could go against anyone any any year so you have to kind of make the most of it while you can so that's in fairness he'd still be hurling only for the injuries Is there any particular area you know you, need, you think you need to target uh, when it comes to Rangers in terms of getting over the line and you know obviously it's going to be a tough battle but is there any particular area you think you need to kind of win in terms to get you over the line? Um, well, it's the same as Rangers set one's battles throughout the year. Whichever going to come out on top on just the battle, winning, breaking ball, winning your own ball, that'll be a big part of it. So whichever team is able to win the breaks and win their own ball, that'll be go a long way as towards whichever team comes out on top on Sunday. KCLR Sport. The Carlo Senior Hurling Final Preview Special with Affidia, Ireland's leading provider of MRI scans at Dean Street, Kilkenny. Affidia.ie. Nothing is more important than health.